Hello and welcome. My name is Andy B. Rodriguez. Today is June 30th, 2022. And today I'm just going to be drawing a skull. Um, I'm doing something a little more interesting here today, and I'll just be drawing with a uh, white colored pencil on black paper. Uh, and I'm using my own little skull as reference. I like to bring him out quite a bit. He's fun. He's a fun guy. Let's call him John. Um, I just thought it'd be fun and interesting to do something a little different than the normal sketchbooking stuff. It is a little trippy to work like this just because you're working basically you're drawing the light instead of shading like you normally would so it's a bit of a trippy experience just working in that reverse order the result's really cool though and people seem to like it I think a lot of what it is is um aside from it being a cool aesthetic it's just a cool way to exercise uh just shape design really cuz I found that um it's a bit harder to really get this to work if you're just uh, working from well from from trying to work in a reverse order I guess and trying to draw the shading as a white that just makes it a reverse but also um, it makes it seem like a photo negative but it also um, If you try to work in a tonal manner, so try to make it look realistic and with softer transitions, it doesn't read all that well. At least not in my experience. I'm sure some people have done it though, made it work, but can't seem to do it. That's why you tend to see me draw these shapes first and then fill them in. And see, he even here, I'm trying to distinguish the form through line and just conforming through the contours of the shape. It is a chippy experience, so even for even just looking at it, not trying to and just interpreting it it feels weird like it feels like it shouldn't work but it does and it's fun it, it's a little fun that way anyways i hope you guys are having a solid day a solid week i mean it's been pretty crazy out there but I hope it's good. Sorry if I zone out here and there, but it's like I've said before, it really is uh, a meditative experience, just sketchbooking and letting your mind just go go with it.
Um, if you do have any questions, so feel free to comment in the YouTube video, and I'll try to get to them. If I don't answer them in the comments, I'll just try to answer them in the next video. I'm trying to be consistent and post them every Friday. So, I will try to get to them in the next video, if not that comment on the spot. And, yeah. See, and this is interesting to you, because it forces you to make decisions uh, like this, where you're trying to figure out how to interpret um, certain values, because you have your lightest lights and your darkest darks, and how, how do you want to get that to translate? Like, do you just want these two values, or do you want to try to get a little more complicated? And that is a very subjective question. And this is what makes it interesting too, because I'll take a, uh, I don't actually don't know what this is, I just grabbed it randomly off a shelf, but I think it's a white charcoal, charcoal pencil, um, but I like it because it's much uh, brighter than the colored pencil, and you can get a really interesting effect with those, um, with the highlights.
this background stuff is not, I'm not actually interpreting anything, I'm just uh, playing with the composition and just seeing what it does. I kind of like, that's what I like about this medium, it's just, you can do anything really and it, it looks cool. It's fun to play with. I think with that though, I'm going to call it good. Yeah. Alright, uh, thanks for joining me. I hope you had a good time. Hope you have a good weekend. Uh, I'll try to post this tomorrow, so Friday. So yeah, hope you have a good weekend. Thanks.